All right, everybody, we are back. We are at the Salt Tank event where we have a bunch of amazingly talented, brilliant entrepreneurs. Uh, running around with great ideas, looking to find some funding and some connections. And with me now is Mr. Joseph Andrews, and you have a really cool concept as well. Why don't you tell me a little bit about it? Our company's called BitRunner, uh -huh. and we do peer-to-peer -peer services as a platform. So if you're a piano teacher, you can put your services up there, and you can connect with your clients. It's especially for recurring services. You can schedule and pay via the app, and we'll be launching the second quarter of this year, uh -huh. and we, we are in full development right now. All right, everybody, I am with Miss Kate Hansen, who has an amazing invention that she came up with herself. Right, so when I had small children, they loved pancakes for breakfast and I would make their own homemade syrup. And I had a fancy jar that I loved and one morning I was washing the jar and I chipped it on the sink and was devastated, just so disappointed that I didn't have anything to put the syrup in. And I searched online and looked for a solution and couldn't find anything. And I thought, you know, what I really need is I need like a mason jar, because mason jars you can always replace, because there's a million of them. Then I thought, no, what I really need is I need a lid for a mason jar. So I looked online and that didn't exist either. And yeah. so I decided we needed to make it ourselves. So I love that. Yeah, so my husband and I took it to a designer and we're in the prototyping stage. This is a 3D printed model. And so it, you can use it, but it's not something we can sell. So we're hoping to launch on Kickstarter this spring and we're trying to get the word out. I am here with Wayne from ZHT Morning Zoo. What are you doing here, Wayne? Oh, we are just having a good time. We came and Hello. watched. <laughs> That was our boy Cedric. We'll get him in a minute. He, he just he's just a little jealous that Lightskin's back in, so he just don't mind him. Well, that's good. That means I'm really in. <laughs> that means I'm like all in, right? Yes, I'm pretty. like see through. Yeah, hey, you, you're looking good, and we're having a good time right here. I know. And G Easy, we watched the premiere of his movie here tonight, which uh -huh. was amazing to be able to see. Yeah. I mean, he's got he can sing. I mean, he can rap. He can do all of it. So acting, he can add that to his resume as well. I am joined with Mr. Chase. Chase Larson, who has a really cool app coming out that is going to help athletes around the world connect with their hopes and dreams, basically, right? Exactly, exactly. That's what it is. It's going to create something that is going to be able to create more visibility for all these kids, whether it's at a D1 program, whether it's at a smaller school, that's what we're here to do to help the kids get recruited. So what's going on in the athletic system that we, we were talking a little off camera about there being some problems and kids are being taken advantage of and, and how do you see this as a way to help them? Well, you just see all over the media. I mean, a lot of college coaches are talking about it too, saying some of these services they're not even using and a lot of parents are throwing thousands of dollars into these platforms and these services. So we think that we came up with a solution to help these kids out and to make sure that they're getting the visibility they need. I am here with Linda. Linda, tell me about your product. I have been a tech entrepreneur for about 12 years in the government sector, in the DOD space. And uh, this last year, I decided to come up with a compact portable weather station called the Weather Egg. And it has a um, wind speed, wind direction, humidity, barometric pressure, and a GPS locator, uh, and stores those points to give you your localized weather. I am joined by Brett Kitson from Mac Warehouse. I said your name right, right? That's correct. Okay, and you guys have been in business for forever. You are not here to hustle a product. You are here to be a mentor and support this awesome event. What do you think? Well, I don't know that we've been in business forever, but I've definitely, uh, we've had some good success over the last five or so years. and. We're definitely here uh, just seeing what everybody's got going on. It's very interesting and uh, it's kind of nice to reminisce and you know what it was like when we were very first getting started and, and, uh, and meet people and, and learn about all these great ideas people have. I am here with Candace, the girl with the ukulele from earlier. You've got Post Malone interested in this. You've got all kinds of hype going on. Tell me about um, what you want to have happen for this thing. Yeah, so I'm hoping to crowdfund it with Jonathan and Brock and take it to Kickstarter and Indiegogo and basically um, use that pre-order money to manufacture and to market and really get the product out there. I am here with the famous or infamous Waboom, Lucas Yancey, and uh, we just had an incredible performance from you. That was awesome. Thank you. Tell me about what you're doing here and what's going on in your life since The Bachelorette. Uh, well, since The Bachelorette, I, of course, had the Waboom song. 
Yes. That has come out and just made a huge splash. Absolutely. Uh, Waboom splash, which is bigger than a tsunami. What are you looking to have happen here tonight or in general for the company? Well, we're looking for investors. We're in a pre-seed round for our funding for the company. So we need to fund our development and then marketing in the future. And at that point, we'll be able to take off as a company. And we we're hoping to look for some investors here that would be able to put in somewhere between 200000 to $2 million into the company. I love it when the, the bubble is that big. Like, have you done this before? Have you looked for investors and done that successfully? Or is this the first time for you? Uh, this is the first time we've actually gone for funding correctly. Like, uh -huh. we've, done, we've done LLCs before, yeah. and they don't take off. But uh, the way that you have to do it for real is you form an S Corp, and we've gone through all the uh, issues of creating shares. We've planned our valuation as a company, and then we've also planned our forecasting as well. So at this point, we can honestly say we can ask for that kind of money, and it's fine. So how do they get a hold of you? You can reach us at bitrunner.com, B-I-T-R-U-N-R.com, and jandrews at bitrunner.com is my email address. Best of luck. I'm so excited for you. I can't wait to hear what's going to happen. This is a great platform, and good luck tonight with everything going on. I hope you find someone. Thank you very much. So if they are looking for your, our viewers out there and they want to support you, they would like one of these, what do they got to do? All you got to do is go to www.ergospout.com. And then watch for your Kickstarter, right? That's right. Well, cool. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'll be watching for it. I'm so excited to see what happens next. Thank you. How cool was this event, though, tonight? This was so cool. Really, and I love that we have this scene here in Utah and being yeah. able to have Sundance here. We're almost spoiled that we can have Hollywood roll up their red carpet yeah. and drop it here in Utah every year. It is very So cool. we're spoiled. It's one of my favorite events. I know. I love it. And this was really cool to get to see entrepreneurs come out and meet with people who have money and investors and grow their dream. It was really fun. Yeah, it's a great time, and I'm glad I was able to come, and I'm glad I was able to talk to you and meet yeah, you. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Okay, so every morning, give us the time so we can find you and meet you and talk to you in the mornings. That's right. So it's uh, 6 to 10 a.m., mm -hmm. 97.1. Mm -hmm. So it's 97.1 ZHT, Salt Lake's number one hit music station. Check us out. Morning Zoo, you got great giveaways all the time, I know. All, all the time. And in fact, I'll be the one to talking to you if you win the contest. Working in athletics is a lifelong thing for you. You played for BYU and Weber State and your dad is in it. Tell me about your whole family story. Yeah, so actually my dad's coach at every college in the state of Utah, except Utah and Utah State. He's currently the head coach at Lehigh High School. I help out with that right now, and um, I've just kind of grown up into it, the recruiting world, kind of see how it all works out. I played, like you said, at BYU and Weber State, and I just felt like there was something else that could help college coaches and also student athletes at a fair price and not something that a company is trying to make another bang for their buck. So. Yeah. So it's an awesome idea, and you're obviously here looking for investors and people to invest. So what do you need, and what are your hopes for that, and how do people get a hold of you if they're interested in investing? Well, I just think this was a great event. There's a lot of people here, a lot of networks. They can reach out at me. Our Twitter handle and our Instagram handle is Ripple Sports. So you can DM me there, or you can find me on Instagram as well. Very cool. Well, Chase, thank you so much for your time. Good luck. I wish you well. I can't wait to see how all of these companies blow up after this event and hooking up with the right people. Appreciate it. Thank you. So it, this is just a prototype, and it's designed by um, one of the product development teams that puts this on, Klugonics. Oh, nice. Yeah, and so we've been working together. I know David. He's such a good dude. He is such a good dude. This yeah. year, or um, Saturday is the Clean Air Solutions Fair, and I'm teaching kids about weather and about air pressure that day because I believe that part of the inversion is caused by we just don't know enough about the weather uh -huh. in certain parts. Like the weather stations are triangulated from across the valley uh -huh. and the weather isn't locally so we need more data points. Okay, so this will help that. Yes. <laughs> Let's talk about how people are going to get a hold of you and uh, if they're interested in investing or learning more about your product. Okay, they can go to weatheregg.com just that easy. Linda, you are a pleasure and I love it. And I want to talk to you for like an hour about all the things you do in your spare time. I think she's probably solving like all of our world problems. I, I'm going to sleep better tonight knowing she's in the world. 
So, so nice to meet you. Thank you. Good yes. luck with everything. Okay, thank you so much. Let's tell everyone about the Mac Warehouse and what you guys do. Yeah, so at Mac Warehouse, we're uh, an Apple products recertifier. So what that means is we bring in pre-owned Apple product from all over the world, from colleges or large corporations, things like that. And we run it through our refurbishing facility, which is all Apple certified techs. They go all through the product, make sure that the product works like it was intended to, do updates, upgrades to it, make sure it's it's awesome again. And uh, we repackage it and we resell it. Okay. So the, the real good deal about it is you, you, you know, customers are able to buy Apple products, the technology they want for a fraction of the price. That's awesome. How do people find you and where do they get to buy? So we do have a retail store here in Utah. It's in Sandy and the Quarry Bend Shopping Center by Walmart. And then we also have an online uh, shopping capability at uh, mac-warehouse.com. So there's a hyphen between Mac and Warehouse. All right. Very cool. So it's where you go for your Mac supplies and able to get it at a cost you can afford. That's it. How about with Kickstarter? Have you tried that before or is this something that they're helping you figure out how to do? Um, it's something they're helping me figure out how to do. I've never Kickstarted in anything before. Jonathan has done like 400 successful campaigns, so I'm going to leave it yeah. up to <laughs> the experts. So this is like such a great resource for people who have a product and are sort of or an idea and just like have no idea what to do next because these guys definitely are a resource. Has this been a good experience for you? Yeah, um, we just got started. I just started talking to Brock and John maybe end of December. So things have been wow. moving pretty fast. <laughs> wow. Okay. So if somebody is interested in investing in this product, what do they need to do? Um, they can contact me at Candice at NovacoMusic.com. You can also um, go to NovacoMusic.com and enter your email to be notified of our Kickstarter launch. Awesome. Good luck, Candice. I'm super excited to see how this goes. Thank you. You were talking to QVC about getting the Waboom out there. Yeah. No, I'm, yeah. I think that's a great idea. Well, I mean, I donated uh, all the proceeds from the Waboom shirts to um, the Robert Paler Fund. Mm -hmm. And he was a, a kid that I know uh, who was paralyzed in a rugby match recently. Ooh, wow. And um, we raised about $6,500 to him, and we're continuing to raise money. And, you know, it's, it's all for the greater good. Um, and that's kind of the true heart and soul of the whole, you know, Waboom! So, yes. that's the deal. See, that's why you have all the ladies after you. You're funny and you're a good dude. Thanks for taking a minute to chat with me. Hugs. We'll be right back right after this on Talk 365. I love you. Not me. You out there, I'm sure. Yeah, just you.